this chicken recipe is my twist or play off of a popular slow cooker orange chicken recipe using orange marmalade and sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce i had some chicken thighs and i thought i would make a version on my stove top and i ended up making a few other changes along the way come along and let me show you how i made this delicious one pan chicken dinner first let's make the sauce in a bowl i'm adding in a half a cup of orange marmalade and this is three quarter cups of sweet baby ray's original barbecue sauce or you can use the honey barbecue sauce adding in a quarter cup of light soy sauce a half a cup of orange juice and one teaspoon of orange zest. I think this really makes the orange taste shine through in this recipe. Adding in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, giving that a good whisk and setting to the side. I have four bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs that I cleaned, trimmed, and dried. I'm seasoning each side with a little salt and white pepper, and you can also use black pepper. I only have four chicken thighs, but you can use up to six thighs for this recipe. In a skillet on medium-high heat, I'm adding in about four tablespoons of oil and placing the seasoned chicken skin side down. I'm cooking the chicken for six to eight minutes or until a nice golden crust forms. Then I'm flipping over the chicken and cooking for another five minutes, and I'm turning my heat setting down to seven. Now I'm lowering the heat setting again down to a six, covering and cooking the chicken for another five minutes. When cooking chicken on the stovetop, you want your heat initially to be medium high to high to get that nice sear and crust on the skin. As you cook the chicken, you want to regulate and lower your heat gradually so the chicken does not burn, and so it will cook uniformly and all the way through. After five minutes, flip the chicken again skin side down. Cover and cook for another five minutes. After that five minutes, remove the chicken and set to the side. On medium heat, which is about a six on my electric stove, I left about two tablespoons of oil in the bottom of the pan, and I'm adding in one small diced onion and half of an orange bell pepper. Cooking and stirring for two minutes, and then I'm adding in two cloves of minced garlic and cooking for another minute. Now I'm slowly pouring in my sauce and making sure to get every drop of that deliciousness. To make this festive, I'm adding in some cranberries. I have a total of one cup of fresh cranberries that I rinsed and drained, and I'm sprinkling half over the sauce now, and we'll add the rest later. Of course, everybody loves the combo flavors of cranberry orange, so why not add them to the chicken? The cranberries add a nice tang to this recipe giving that a good stir and turning my heat up to bring this up to a simmer. Adding my chicken back into the pan and basting with that wonderful sauce. Once at a simmer, I'm covering and cooking for five minutes. I'm giving the chicken another baste and adding in the rest of my cranberries. The first round of cranberries will break down and help thicken the sauce with their natural pectin. The last round of cranberries will soften and some will hold their form and still have a bite. Covering and cooking for another five to eight minutes or until the chicken is done. The chicken is done. I'm turning off my heat and I'm basting the chicken one last time and letting it rest. This really smells good. Serving tonight with some steamed jasmine rice and broccoli. This orange cranberry one pan chicken dinner is a winner. Adding the orange juice and zest really shines through the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. 
The cranberries add a delicious tang and a richness to this dish. The chicken thighs are nice and tender, and don't forget to spoon over some of that delicious sauce. I hope you give this festive one-pan orange cranberry chicken thigh recipe a try, and enjoy! So many people love Panda Express's orange chicken, and I'm no exception. The flavor of chicken and orange seem like a match made in heaven. I thought I would take my oven barbecue chicken recipe and make an orange chicken version. If you would like to see my oven barbecue chicken recipe, I will leave a link here and also in the show more section below. Also, you will be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section. If you have a chance, take a peek. So let's get started. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a family pack of chicken thighs that I cleaned and trimmed. Just like my oven barbecue chicken, I am using a convenient aluminum pan. Or if you're using a broiler pan, you can skip the step of draining the chicken juices. I'm coating each side of the chicken with some adobo seasoning, but you can use the seasonings that you like. I have the chicken placed so the skin side is up. This is going in the oven for 30 minutes, and then I will show you the next step. Meanwhile, I'm going to make the delicious orange sauce. I'm using this brand of orange marmalade, but you can use the brand that you like. In a saucepan on medium heat, I'm adding the orange marmalade, the zest of an orange, and I'm using a navel orange, a little orange juice, garlic powder, onion powder, a little salt, honey for the sweetness, and some sriracha sauce for spiciness. You can add the amount of spiciness that you like, but I'm adding about a tablespoon of sriracha sauce. The orange flavor, sweetness, and spiciness is a great combination, giving everything a good stir, bringing up to a simmer, and cooking for about two to three minutes. Then I'm removing from the heat and letting it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. The glaze will slightly thicken as it cools. It's been 30 minutes. You can see the chicken has produced a lot of juices. I'm flipping the chicken over and baking for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm removing the chicken from the pan, draining all the juices, placing the chicken skin side down, and basting with that delicious orange glaze and baking for another 10 minutes. Trust me, these steps are all worth it. Another 10 minutes has passed. I'm going to drain the little bit of liquid on the bottom, flip the chicken over to skin side up, and give the chicken a good basting with the orange glaze. And don't skimp, baking the chicken for another 10 minutes. And this is the last time for basting, giving the chicken one more good coating and back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Unlike my oven baked barbecue chicken, I will not be increasing the oven temperature, nor will I be placing the chicken under the broiler. With the orange marmalade and honey, there is a high sugar content, and the chicken will burn if I increase the temperature. The chicken is done and it smells so good. It's been a long day and I am starving. The orange flavor is intense. The oven baked orange chicken is tender, spicy, and sticky good. Serving tonight with some scalloped potatoes and a side of steamed broccoli. A side of cranberry sauce would be awesome with this meal. If you want to try something different and good, this oven baked orange chicken may be for you. My family loved it. I hope you give this easy and delicious oven baked orange chicken a try and enjoy. This lemon garlic chicken is easy and a great budget meal. There are only a few ingredients, but in the end, this meal is downright delicious. I have a family pack of bone in chicken thighs that I cleaned, trimmed, and making sure they are dry. I'm just dabbing both sides with a paper towel. Next, I'm generously seasoning both sides. You can use your favorite seasoning, but tonight I'm using McCormick's chicken seasoning. I've also used Lowry's and Adobo seasoning in the past. I'm browning both sides of the chicken, and this will finish cooking in the oven, so I'm using an oven-proof pan, which is my cast iron skillet. I love my cast iron skillets, and they are a must-have in the kitchen. In my skillet on medium-high heat, 
I'm adding in a little oil to coat the bottom and placing my chicken thigh skin side down. Letting the chicken cook for three to four minutes and then flipping over and cooking for another three minutes. Just a reminder that I will leave the recipe and the list of ingredients for this lemon garlic chicken dinner below this video. Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video recipe and click the bell to make sure you receive notification of all my future video recipes. Once I have the chicken browned on both sides, I'm turning off my heat and removing the chicken from the pan. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I sliced one large onion into quarter inch slices and I'm placing them on the bottom. This is one sliced lemon and I have a couple cloves of sliced garlic. For more flavor I have several sprigs of fresh thyme. I'm putting the chicken thighs back into the pan, placing them on top of the onion and lemon slices. This is two more cloves of sliced garlic, another sliced lemon, and a few more sprigs of thyme. Finally, I'm throwing in a sprig of rosemary. You can see the ingredients are few, but all with unique and powerful flavors. The chicken is going into a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until the internal temp reaches 165 to 175 degrees. In the meantime, I'm making my side of butter parsley potatoes. They are real simple to make. I diced and cooked four large russet potatoes, drained the water, and now I'm adding in three tablespoons of butter, some salt and black pepper, and a handful of fresh chopped parsley, giving that a good stir and putting the lid back on until we are ready to eat. It took 40 minutes and the chicken is done. As you can see, the chicken, onions, and lemon produce some yummy juices or au jus on the bottom infused with the thyme and rosemary. It smells wonderful. Going to let the chicken rest for about 15 minutes before serving. I'm serving the lemon garlic chicken with the butter parsley potatoes. Don't forget to spoon over some of those delicious juices. The chicken is nice and tender with lots of flavor. If you're looking for an easy, one-pot, budget-friendly chicken dinner, well, this is the one. Enjoy! If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!